Hello everybody, my name is Patrick, and today I'm going to be talking about the top four essential pieces of equipment when you're building a home gym. Now, keep in mind, this video is largely just my opinion based on my experience in building my own home gym. I bought a lot of good products and bad products over the years, and your home gym doesn't necessarily need to consist only of these four items. But if you're looking for the most bang for your buck approach where you're looking to spend the least amount of money, have it take up the least amount of space, and be able to do the biggest assortment of exercises that you possibly can do, then this is my video recommendation of the top four pieces of equipment you'll need in order to create such a home gym environment. All right, getting into the first piece of equipment you will definitely need in order to create a home gym, adjustable dumbbells. This is non-negotiable, the number one thing you will need when creating your home gym. Now, adjustable dumbbells are number one in my mind because they allow you to do the largest assortment of exercises with just the, the least amount of equipment. All you need is two dumbbells and the plates that go with them and literally you can do any weightlifting exercise. You can do any exercise that's similar to a barbell movement like bench press, overhead press, deadlift, squat, all your main compound movements, but then on top of that, you can do all the isolation movements that you couldn't otherwise do with a barbell, like alternating dumbbell curls, uh, chest flies, lateral raises, French press, things like that. Every single weightlifting exercise that you wanna do, you can do with adjustable dumbbells. And because they're adjustable, you can very easily add weight in order to incrementally get stronger. So later down the line, as you're getting stronger and stronger, it's like, oh, now I need this, now I need that. No, now it's just, I need a bit more weight. And even if you just wanted to buy it all in bulk, a good example would be the Yes For All dumbbell set, which allows the dumbbells to go anywhere from five pounds to 100 pounds each dumbbell. And all, already right there, you, you have the whole thing. You'll have probably all the weight you'll ever need for your home gym right there. All right, and going into the second piece of equipment you'll need when starting a home gym, a bench specifically an adjustable bench. Now, why do you want an adjustable bench? Because this literally doubles the amount of exercises that you can do with the dumbbells you already have. A lot of people think, oh, it's just for me to do bench press. And yes, you can do bench press on it, but it also allows you to do things like incline presses, decline presses to really hit the upper and lower pec fibers. You can more effectively do exercises such as dumbbell flies and dumbbell pullovers now that you're sitting up on the bench. Similar to different bench press variants, there are a whole slew of row variants that are now open up to you, made a possibility by the fact that the bench is there now. Additionally, you can do exercises such as box squats to also work out your legs. Some people also like to use the decline on it for sit-ups for your core. And now you could do seated variations of other exercises, such as lateral raises, overhead presses, and dumbbell curls, so that now that you're sitting down, you can put more concentration into the actual movement itself, as opposed to having to stand up straight with perfect posture. And for all those reasons, that's why a bench is number two on my list. Number three thing that you need to get for a home gym of any kind, doorway pull-up bar. Most doorway pull-up bars effectively act as sort of mini power towers like the one I have behind me. They allow you to do things like sit-ups to work your core, like tricep dips to get some extra definition in your arms, push-ups, you know, just, just a real small piece of equipment that will easily allow you to do all your functional bodyweight movements. And doing your bodyweight movements isn't just good for building muscle, it's good for keeping your weight down as well as increasing your athleticism. So for those reasons, that's why a doorway pull-up bar should be number three on your list. And number four on my list for home gym essentials, in my opinion, is a punching bag. A punching bag of any kind, really. It could be a standing bag, a hanging bag, a reaction bag, any sort of punching bag. Now, the reason why a punching bag is on my list is because, you know, cardio is important. You know, you, you have to do cardio. But if you're anything like me, cardio is like pulling teeth. It's so boring, it's so dull, it's so uninteresting, and it just, it, I want to cry my eyes out every time I try to run or do anything that's just basic sort of cardio, like burpees or whatever. Punching bag helps you to alleviate that boredom some, you know. It's much more fun to punch something than to just jog at a mild pace, in my opinion. Not to mention, not only are you getting your cardio in, but now you're practicing a skill. 
Essentially, putting your newfound built muscles to good use, learning how to use them in an actual real life scenario that you may happen to come into. Now, I'm not saying train for the purpose of beating someone up, but train in case you have to for self-defense reasons. Again, to reiterate, you're getting in that cardio, you're getting in that skill work, and it's just a damn good time. Well, all right, guys, that has been my video on the top four home gym essentials. Please let me know what you think about that down in the comments, as well as what your top four home gym essentials would be. I'm Patrick, and I'll see you next time.